Okay, so sometimes it's not always about showing you what's new in terms of mini models. Sometimes it's about showing you the unique specs of a mini or something I find unique about a certain car. So the car I'm about to show you is a unique spec to me. It's a new color and it's really cool looking actually. So let's get to it. So this is a 2020 Mini Cooper S Clubman All-4. Now, yes, it's a Mini Cooper S Clubman All-4. I've shown you one of these already. Why am I showing you this one? Well, this is the new Coral Red. At one point, the color was actually called Indian Summer Red. I think they changed it for um, political correctness, as it were. So it's kind of a salmon color, if you will. Pretty sharp looking. And in this spec, it's really nice. I love the little bit of chrome accent here with the black wheels, black roof and mirror caps, really makes it stand out. Now, one of my favorite things about this particular one is it has the black pearl interior, which I really like. It's cloth with leatherette side bolsters and very, very comfortable. It's seriously one of my favorites, one of my favorite seats. They also have the JCW steering wheel so that's a nice added touch there it's just incredibly comfortable so as far as the styling it really works with this color it makes all the creases and body lines really stand out and look it looks really sharp like this and then you can see the new 2020 grill design here which hides the bumper beam does a very good job of hiding the pedestrian bumper and then you got the chrome finishing rod. Now, if you blacked this out right here, it would really make this grill look more, well, look more like a mini grill, I guess. You got scoops right here. These actually feed air into, I think, the brakes. And then these channel air around the side of the car and then into the wheel wells and then along the side of the car some more and then through these and then down the side of the car. So it's a neat detail there. Now, another thing some people don't notice, when you put gas in the car, you take the cap off. See this little tab right here? Stick it right there. This is to keep it from spilling fuel on the side of your car, or actually I should say, this is to keep it from scratching the side of your car and ruining that beautiful paint job. So you wanna do that. And another thing for you all out there, minimum 89, but always use 91 octane. You don't want to use minimum 89. You always want to use 91 in a mini or 93, whichever's better. But some more details, you got the, still have the new Union Jack taillights, which are beautiful. Plenty of cargo space in here. I mean, literally plenty of cargo space and a flat load floor that you can swing up and lock into place. Now, this is a cool thing. So if you want to get this out of the way, if you have like large boxes or whatever you want to put in back here, see these things here, swing it up, holds it in place. And then you have this nice space to store more stuff. You have a little tool kit right here, little tool, little cubbies in the sides to carry stuff, cubbies in the doors, lots of storage in these cars. And then you have this cargo cover here so you can hide all your valuables. So heading to the back seat this is a good small family car if you're going to take it around town or even long trips it's incredibly comfortable even in the back seat plenty of leg room very firm seats very comfortable though for whatever drive you're going to go on i really like it and for those of you who just have two people in the back seat and you don't want to deal with arms sitting down or if you get tired or you want to have an armrest something you can actually take this center thing here pull the tab which should be somewhere 
and it will fold down. So I'm trying to figure out where it is. Let me go find it. Okay, so this one's not equipped with that, but you can get a 40-20-40 split bench for the rear of the Mini Clubman as an option. This one has the 60-40, but yes, you can actually get that. And here's another thing. For rear visibility, and, money, and many of you don't notice this, for rear visibility, you notice how these headrests are sitting. That's so that when you're driving the car, you can see out the back window. But when you have passengers and you want them to be able to have a head restraint so they can be comfortable, you push these buttons on the side and swing them up and so forth. Now when you want to push them out of the way, they pop right back. And then they're out of the way and then you have your visibility again out the back of the car. So that's another cool thing about these cars and the way they're designed. The headrests aren't permanently upright. Because for some of you who might not notice this, toward the end of the R56 generation's run, the rear headrests, they started to fix them in place. They actually would lock them in place so that they were upright all the time rather than lowered down like you used to be able to do on some of the earlier cars. And that was done as a safety feature because otherwise you didn't have a headrest behind your head in the back of the car. So they changed that in the later cars. And this is a new solution for rear visibility so that you don't have to have the headrests in the way when you're driving this car. And then if you have passengers in the back, you can pop it up and you're good to go. So that's an interesting feature. Another thing that I'm gonna show you in a second here, Mini has begun to add micro USB-C charging ports. So for example, if you have a MacBook Pro like I do, you can plug this in and charge it from your car which is kind of cool. Now up front, it still has a standard USB port, but for some reason in the back, they chose to add these USB-Cs. Now I think that's a showing of things to come with these cars. They're probably gonna start implementing more of this new technology into these cars as they age. And of course, more storage. The Clubman is known for storage. It's known to have lots of storage. The Countryman's kind of the same way. So. It, there's even cup holders in the doors. I didn't even notice that. So there's lots of space in this car. It's There's no shortage of space. It's insane. Now for those of you with the sport bucket seats, you might wonder what this is. And if you haven't read the owner's manual, you probably definitely wonder what this is. Well, this is something that BMW has had for a very long time and it comes in very handy for those of you who have long drives or even long legs and your legs get tired or the drive gets long and you your legs get tired then what you can do here is there's a handle right here you pull and it pushes out and it gives your legs more support definitely a nice feature very comfortable and for long drives it's fantastic and for those of you with with long legs like really tall if you're really tall if you're over six foot this is a great thing to have because you can be really comfortable in these seats and have a lot more seat space than you would normally have with the panel pushed in. So that's really a nice thing. Also, I love the sport seats with the side bolsters. This is very, very firm, and I love how it really holds you into the seat. You're really feeling like you're part of the car in a way. You're one with the car, as it were. You're very planted, very supported, and that's what you want when you're driving a Mini because these things corner on a dime. You want to be comfortable, you want to be supported, and you want to have fun while you're driving your new Mini. And that's the only way you could possibly do it. So I've now turned the car on so you can see some more of this stuff. Here is the Mini connected screen. And it's actually touch screen in the Clubman and Countryman, even if it's the smaller six and a half inch. No navigation on this version. The navigation's on the touch screen monitor, but it's still well equipped. And you have all your driver profiles in here. You have your vehicle status right here. So you can check everything, including your oil levels. Everything looks okay there. Your technology in action. So if you have the car in sport mode, you get your nice sport gauges. If you have the car in minimalism or green mode, you can go to this, which is kind of a cool thing. It gives you all the stuff you need to drive the car as economically friendly as possible. Not many of us with minis drive our cars economically possible. 
So, big glove box, new dash trim. This is, I think, I wanna say this was the illuminated trim, but it's not. There actually is an illuminated trim they now have on the Clubman, but it's in the door. So this piano black trim lights up in blue, I believe. It's really pretty though. This one also has Harman Kardon along with the anthracite headliner, but the Harman Kardon is phenomenal. It's a great sound system. That being said, I think the mini connected system that being said, I think the mini sound system is fantastic to begin with, but the Harman Kardon just makes it even better. And as you notice with most minis, the dashboards are all different. The Clubman, the Countryman, and the hardtop and convertible models all have different dashboards. The hardtop and convertibles share one dashboard or instrument panel, whatever you want to call it. The Clubman has a very different one as well, which very swoopy lines and everything. And then the Countryman has another one that's even more different so each one is unique they all have the paddle shifters as well this one has the jcw steering wheel as i mentioned and this is the current instrument cluster as they are getting ready to eventually switch over to a full digital instrument cluster i don't know if it's going to be retrofitable to the previous generations but if it is you can be sure that they'll offer that as an accessory it's be kind of cool but in the meantime this provides plenty of information for those of you who want to have your digital speed right here and not the analog if you push the little top button on the stock on the side, you can go to your miles per hour, which is right there. So that'll give you the miles per hour for the whole car, and you can look at that the whole time, and you're good to go. It also keeps your temperature right here outside and your time. In this case, it says 68 degrees. I find that hard to believe. I think it's just because the car has been sitting in the sun. Lots of nice toggle switches here. If you ever felt like you're sitting in an aircraft, this is kind of, you're kind of feeling that way right now in this car. So, lots of toggles here, lots of toggles here, lots of dials. Mini is known for their toggles and their dials and their switches and everything that makes this car just really fun to drive. And it, this car is just really, really well thought out, really fun to drive, really looks good. This particular spec is one of my favorite specs. The coral red with this interior, it looks great, it's comfortable, it's stylish. I love how stylish this is. This is a very stylish looking car. At the same time, it still has that 189 horsepower two liter turbo, the eight speed automatic, and the all four all wheel drive system. This thing's a little rocket ship down the road. And it's great. It's it's really good. I love this, I love this car. So, I am looking at possibly trying to convince my parents to buy it or lease it. I don't know if they will, but if they're watching this video, I hope they'll consider it because I know I could probably help them get a good deal on this car. In fact, I know the sales manager fairly well and I know he might do whatever it takes to get them into this car. But I'm gonna hop out of here and head off and do some other things. I hope you enjoyed this little video. I know I've done a Clubman already, but I am glad you all came back to watch this one. So don't forget to comment if you haven't already done so. Subscribe to the channel. If you liked this video, leave a like below. And as always, as repetitive as I am, life's too short to drive a boring car, so drive a Mini. I will catch you all later.